Colin. I had boxing as my Olympic sport. It's the CM Polo, so you know I'm in uniform. Uh, boxing first appeared as a formal Olympic event in the Olympiad, 23rd Olympiad in 688 BC. It wasn't as modern as we know it. It was just bare knuckle boxing, bare knuckle fist fighting. Um, it had its own origin in mankind prehistory. Uh, boxing is attacking and defending with fists, usually lasting up to 12 rounds. Um, boxing, you cannot hit below the belt. These are the rules of boxing. You can't hit below the belt. Modern boxing. Uh, you can't throw elbows, trip, kick, and bite. You can't pull Mike Tyson and bite an air off. Um, you can't hit with your open glove. You have to keep your glove closed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can't hit with the inside of the gloves. You can't do like a palm strike or something like that. Um, you can't hit with your wrist. And you, uh... Lost myself, and you can't backhand your opponent. You just have to do like straightforward, just straight punches. And you can do variations like hooks, uppercuts, and body shots, but you can't hit below the belt. Um, you could win. Also, you could win by knocking out your opponent, or you could win by scoring the most points. Um, the point system is called the Ten Must system. It was brought with the Marquess of Queensbury rules, which really gave rules to the bare knuckle boxing and turned it into some into what we now know basically as boxing. Um, it matured the sport and brought rules. Each round is scored based on aggressiveness, defense, and ring generalship, which is controlling the ring. So, who is the most dominant in the ring is and clean punching. Uh, each opponent starts off with 10 points and each knockdown deducts a point. So you could score, the, the loser that scores least points, so it usually is like 10 and 9, and the person with 9 loses, obviously the one with 10 wins. Uh, yeah, you could also lose points based on like penalties, like below the belt. Uh, illegal punches that could lose you points. Mm. Keep on losing myself. It used to be bare knuckle boxing in early times, but around 1500 BC they started using padding and face protection. In ancient Greece, the way you lost was by holding up one finger. So it was basically a submission game back then. They didn't really have rules, as I said before. Uh, boxing was introduced worldwide in the Worldwide Olympics in 1904, and it's been a part of the summer events ever since. The only time it did not happen was in 1912 because Sweden banned boxing. There are currently eight weight classes for men and five for women. Women, uh, they weren't, they didn't get into boxing until 2012. I think I didn't look that one up, but I think I remember that. Um, the eight classes for men and women, the eight classes for men and the five classes uh, for women are women's classes are flyweight, which is 112 pounds, featherweight, which is 125 pounds, <coughs> lightweight, which is 132 pounds, welterweight, which is 152 pounds, and middleweight which is 165 pounds. The men's eight weight classes are flyweight, which is 114 pounds, featherweight, which is 125 pounds, lightweight, which is 138 pounds, uh, welterweight, which is 152 pounds, middleweight, which is 165 pounds, and light heavyweight, which is 178 pounds, heavyweight, which is 200 pounds, and super heavyweight, which is 200 plus pounds. Um, it was required required to wear headgear until 2016, so before that, it, it was optional, I'm assuming. Um, yeah. Uh, and in 2012, women's boxing was allowed. I said that already. Um, America has the most gold medals at 114, 
and Cuba is second with uh, 73 gold medals. A lot of famous boxers have been in the Olympics. Uh, just to name a few, um, Muhammad Ali, uh, if you don't know him, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, he won gold in 1960, but he was under his name, like original name, as uh, Cassius Clay, not Muhammad Ali. Um, Joe Fraser, uh, he won gold in 1964. George Fo Foreman, he won gold in 1968. Leon Spinks won gold in 1976. Michael Spinks, gold in 1976. Uh, Evander Holyfield, Hollyfield. Whoa. Uh, won bronze in 1984. Ridrick Bowe won silver in 1988. Roy Jones Jr. silver in 1988. Oscar De La Hoya gold in 1992. Floyd Mayweather bronze in 1996. He's probably like the most famous boxer. Uh, uh, and then Clasera Sh uh, Shields. Don't know how to pronounce that. One gold in 2012 and 2016. Yeah, that's boxing.